on cue on the album. This is the album right here. Turn the album. Good, now. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. It's Godan. Achilles on defense. Well, you saw from my battle with Hachiman. I lost. Now we're going to see a player showcase. Achilles on defense. Once again. But hit by Brander. Hey, thank you, Brander, for the footage. But let's take a look at the build. One thing is different from the other build. We switched out the 5 star. We have the sword and shield. Now when we look at this, compare the stats. Here's Achilles. Almost 20,000 damage, almost 195 health. Stats are looking good. 50% melee, 25% range resist, and 95% across the board for all elements. But the troops, this is the difference. The health drops almost by 100,000 because of the change of the 5 star. We're going to look at the 5 stars per battle because people count on the 5 stars. With this setup, melee is 95%. Range is 95%. Physical and everything else, 97%. Can't get better than that. Or can you? Here we go. Ares versus Hachiman. This again is done by Brander. Hey bud, thank you very much. He's gonna go with Spearmen and Grenadiers. Now remember, this is Ares versus Hachiman. Max level troops against level 21 troops. That's the great big divide. Things will probably be different if it was max against maxed, but still, some titans and their troops can defend against max level players because they're the meta referring to hachi not always but sometimes let's see how this plays out this again is with the sword and shield going against all spearmen you saw the stats now the plan here is just to outlast it's not a lot of action it burns the clock. Ares brings his fireballs in. It does damage right off the bat. As you saw, Achilles guys are just straight dropping right on the troops. Right on Ares' troops. But the only thing that he can count on Achilles, that is, is the archers to do damage. But they're getting taken out by the Omega Grenadiers. Those spearmen, though, are looking pretty good. He's causing a lot of damage. Five minutes on the clock. And the victory is in his favor. Mind you, again, max level troops against level 21 troops. Could play out a lot different if the troop level wasn't so great. But they're hanging in there. It's just going to run the clock. Now we know that Achilles Spearmen are going to do no damage. Zero damage. They just got to hang. They just got to hang tough. Four and a half minutes. What is it going to take? Is he going to be able to wipe out? All the spearmen, or is he going to be able to do enough damage to get the win unanimously? It looks like Achilles is gone. Yeah, he's definitely gone. But Ares is still there. This is a tough fight. Under four minutes now. The meter still showing that 
Aries is getting it done. A lot of spearmen. Looks like they got decent health. But there's a lot of time. And just hit three and a half minutes. This may take the full time. Maybe close. Maybe the Staff of Earth would be a better relic. Get some shields on these spearmen. I don't know. Their resistance are really good. They just need that increased armor. Just under three minutes. This is going to be an outright victory. Grenadiers are firing it down. I actually beat a Hachimia with Ares. I didn't expect to win, but I did. Is Ares a new Hachiman killer? Not likely, but he can get it done. This one's going to be a wrap. Brander's taking care of business one spearman at a time. Ares is still hanging in there. He's been swarmed. But he's got plenty of troops. These spearmen are done for. Achilles on defense. Wall's taking this max player quite a bit of time. Is Achilles a poor titan? So Achilles, he is not a bad titan. Out of all the five star relics, this one defended the best. This one was second best. And this one did nothing at all. Go figure. Looks cool. But honestly, it's the easiest one to go down. Keep that in mind. There's a lot of changes coming up. There's a new blog, a new update. We'll talk about that some other time. So as always, relax, enjoy, be balanced, have fun. Take care.